Howdy, I'm Kyler, host of Fishing After Five. It's always nice when I come home and I see this waiting on me. Mystery Tackle Box Pro Box. This is the first one I've ever gotten. I haven't opened it yet. Still got uh, all my info in the back, so I should scratch that off so you guys don't see it and come, I don't know, stalk me. Hopefully this has something good in it. We're gonna do an unboxing, and then later on, maybe not in this video, maybe in this video, I don't know, we'll do a slam with it, see if we can find out if the bass like any of the stuff in here. See you inside. All right, so, I get home from work, I see this Mystery Tackle Box Pro. Haven't opened it yet, I don't know what's inside. So I got my little purple knife. Let's cut this bad boy open. The thing about this is you get a little card of what's inside and the card equals out to more than what you pay for the box. It's nice, it's great, it's excellent. First up, we have the Gizzard Shad Swim Bait. This is it. It's, <laughs> it is gigantic, it's cool though. Right, let's see. Here we go, I got a big old floppy fish. Here he is. Now this Live Target Swim Bait, I've seen it in stores before. It's got that nice little paddle tail. I believe I could just toss it out there and reel it in. It looks like a lot of fun to use. The bass around here, they'll definitely bite on this thing. I'll definitely be throwing it when I go out next time. Next up we have the hunch, which is somewhere. This is not it. Hey, 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 the hunch. Wow, sweet. Hunch looks like some sort of crankbait, or I'm sorry, jerkbait. Hunch is a shallow water beast. A small profile and erratic action will trigger crushing strikes. Throw it in open water, near weed lines, or around any shallow cover. Uh, it's by Catchco, so this must be um, Mystery Tackle Box's personal brand. This is really cool, and it came in purple, and if you know me, I'm a big purple fan. I ride that purple train all day. I actually have one jerkbait that I've been looking to get good with. It's a uh, Rapala jerkbait, but it's not purple. This wins. Sorry, it's late. Next up, we have the Sledgehammer Swim Jig. Here it is. I keep wanting to pick that one up. Here it is. Let's open her up. See what she's about. A nice little weedless swimming jig. Big hook on there. I bet you it sands, well, does it lay flat like I want it to? Yeah, it does. It comes with two toothpicks. Now I'm confused. Equipped with super beefy, no flex, no bend hook. This jig was made for a heavy line and monster fish. Each handcrafted lure features a hand-painted metal flake head and a custom skirt. Never worry about your trailer flying off again by pegging it using our, <laughs> pegging it, using our patented barb shape toothpick keeper cow. Toothpicks. Wait, there's a keeper? Wait a second. Oh, snap. I don't, I don't understand this. It's fine, it's whatever. I think it'll work as is, so I'm not gonna complain. I appreciate the toothpicks, I will add them to my toothpick collection. After that, my favorite that I'm, I'm looking at is the Combat Frog by Lunker Hunt. Here it is, gigantic toad frog man thing with little swiggle legs. Let's open her up. This is actually, this is pretty great. I'm, I'm not even done with this and I'm, I'm really impressed with what I've gotten so far because if I actually went to buy this at like Dick's or Cabela's, I would have spent quite a bit. This is really nice. Look at his little legs. <laughs> this, is, this is a crazy lake frog, man. He even makes action pump noises. I can definitely see me throwing this in pads just anywhere. This is gonna replace my little $3 frog I got from Walmart, so that's great. Look at his little legs, though. Hello, my honor. Hello, my baby. I'm running. How does that work? Next up, we have the J-Bug by V&M 
Bates. This must be it. V and MJ bug in watermelon red. So let's let's open this up. Oh yeah, that's that's, <laughs> that's that good smell. Super scented. Watch out. We should do some cooking with this. I've never fished one of these. That is the amazing thing about the Mystery Tackle Box Pro Series is I don't think I ever would have. But now that I have it, I guess I don't have a choice. It's gotta be money well spent. I'll definitely be combining these things, do a slam, and see if I can catch some good bass on it. Gotta find the right place. I'm in Huntsville, Alabama, so you have to really pick and choose the spots you're going to. Because uh, some spots are really fish and other spots are relatively unknown, but don't have a lot of big bass in them. Next up, we have the Ultra Point KVD Triple Grip Treble Hook. Boom, finally. Another thing I'm excited about, the Kraken Popper by Lunker Hunt. Lunker Hunt has been showing up in this box. Here's the uh, whole thing with its packaging. It's a popper. One of the first things I learned how to use uh, with bass fishing was a popper. One of my favorite things ever. Top water is by far my favorite style of fishing uh, because I'm ADD and you actually get to do stuff and I'm, I'm here for that. Here it is for all you folks at home. I love the paint job on it. It's got that nice wide popping opening for it. The lunker hunt on the bottom. Some sticky, sticky hooks. I like the rattles. There's a lot of weight to it too. I feel like I could throw it on my bait caster a lot easier. By the way, we can't forget the uh, sticker. I think it's a smallmouth bass. I've never caught a smallmouth bass. One day I will, I promise you. And last but not least is the Dibble Digest, which is a uh, small little booklet that tells you how to uh, fish everything that's in the box. You can also find more things about how to fish what's in the box at the Mystery Tackle Box uh, channel here on YouTube. I'll, I'll link to that down below. I'm excited to go out fishing with these things. So next time I can, which is probably tomorrow after five, since the whole name of the show is Fishing After Five After All, subscribe, by the way. But we'll go out there and we'll see if we can catch something. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. I've got way more coming down the line, a lot more bass fishing, and I'm gonna try and maybe do some bass tournaments coming up. I know I'm a beginner, but I think I've got a little skill. But my name is Kyler, I'm signing out, and I'll see you next time after five. Oh, that's corny.